Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to another recording session, actual recording session here, of Hearthstone. This is the first recording session since the Whispers of the Old Gods is out. I spent probably over 17 or 18 hours, no, I was more than that by far, it was probably over 24 hours recording special videos for Whispers of the Old Gods. I opened 113 packs. I have tons of Whispers of the Old Gods cards and I have rebuilt all of my decks. So everything is new and fresh and for that reason, particularly and kind of only that reason, that's what we gotta do. We need six, we need five games with Hunter and Mage, five games with Paladin and Priest to cast 40 spells and do the Tavern Brawl, which will probably give us another uh, card pack, but it says classic pack. Interesting. So, Paladin and Priest doesn't seem like we're gonna get to uh, build our decks. That's fine for this first Tavern Brawl. So, E3 is about upon us. Packs just happened. We got some new games being the light shall bring victory. Shown. Let's see. This is not right. We'll use no deck. Uh, we have all these new cards. So I'm gonna one one copy of each minion. That would be kinda cool. Destroy and healing effects damage instead. Nope, I don't want that. Whenever you cast a spell, I'll take that one. Mana Addict might be useful here. Uh, lots of cards got banned. Uh, Whispers of the Old Gods had... Its main thing is Cthulhu. And even though I just last night was watching... Uh, I'm just going to end the turn here. That way I could do this and then a spell and maybe a one, uh, a one mana card, like restored by health maybe, but that would be too early to do that spell actually. Maybe I should just end this turn too. So here's a card that's not going to be as effective now because there are considerably less mechs, almost no mechs at all in standard play. I don't know if we're actually playing in standard play for Tavern Brawls. I guess technically you're not, you're playing whatever the Tavern Brawl dictates, so there could be cards here that are Goblins vs. Gnomes or, or Nyx Ramus cards still. So even if you we're only going to play in standard play, which is now out. There's, there's a level of that. Let's see. The uh, what a rush. Where you're still going to end up playing some wild cards if you play Tavern Brawls, which is fine. I would hate for somebody to actually go only standard and I'd hate for side. it to potentially give any weight to Blizzard at some point saying no, we're just going to get rid of the wild play and get rid of the cards really forever. I'm already kind of mad at them that you can't, that there's no way whatsoever to buy Goblins vs. Gnomes packs. There's no way whatsoever to buy Nyx Ramus as a solo adventure. Uh, that Nyx Ramus should have been given away for free. And the Goblins vs. Gnomes set potentially needs to be given away for free too. The workaround for things like that happening Welcome to the exhibit. is uh, you now have to build everything with dust. I'm gonna take, let's see, this one I guess. Mind if I roll knee? Uh, uh, what a rush. Which is gonna take forever, really. It's gonna take 
forever. I've got so many legendaries just on classic that I need to build dust. Even though I opened 113 packs and they gave me like 2,000 dust. More dust than I've ever seen in my life by far. It's still not, I will not be enough. Trifled with. It, I mean, it, it was nowhere near enough to get me all the goblins, uh, whispers of the old gods expansion. And uh, because the legendaries are 3200. Uh, and as long as that stays the same. Let's see. Just gonna heal the face, I guess. Hey, this is that. strange because I've I should have killed done. that guy shouldn't I have hmm. that was dumb like this guy has nothing left in his abilities neither one of them really do so I should have gone smash smash this guy would have drawn a card this guy's effect would have activated and then they won't have any reason to kill this guy or even if they do kill the shadow fiend it it'll at least give me one card at a reduced cost this guy's making all the cards cost five that's crazy so this eight mana card saved him three and then he's gonna kill this guy it's a bad strategy on my part healing effects deal damage anyways so I could do this and then five and then three or I could give a random minion plus three plus three which wouldn't help or I could add two bananas to my hand hmm. I'm gonna save these two for a strategy later and instead do how this many fingers do you see? And this. And then in the turn, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so E3 is going to come out and it's going to announce stuff as far as scheduling. So we've hit here. What is What month is this? It's. April, January, February, March, April. Yeah, it's the fourth month of the year. And as I'm trying to understand the scheduling, way more than I ever did as just a casual video fan, uh, where I was pretty oblivious of it, it's taken four months out of this year of just barely anything, maybe one or two AAA games coming out. And now we're starting to get announcements in the fourth month. Now, Summer practically starts in June, which is two months from now. So, when summer comes along, that's the Steam Summer Sale in ju June. But then it's kind of, at least right now, looking like it's going to be twice a turn like none of this is helping me if I did this job's done uh, so the steam summer sale is gonna come out that's gonna be all the old games there's really probably maybe a few pre-orders going on through the summer sale that's what I seem to remember last summer so we're approaching the one year anniversary of my first steam summer sale and purchasing things which which is really a shame it's a shame I wasn't doing this five years ago and purchasing games at a much bit better discount uh, this week actually was Where the second start? annual for steam anime sale and I got a couple of them but Inherently, I don't feel like anime games actually work as much as you think. I think anime itself works better in its, its animated form. 
because it's usually somewhat focused around very specific story going and very specific artwork and it feels like they kind of uh, cheap out on both of those. Let's negotiate. You can see it and I'll let you live. Hmm. I'm gonna lose here. Did I play poorly here, or is this simply a matter of cards? I don't know. I, I know I made one mistake here, and maybe that was the one mistake that was necessary, but I honestly don't feel like I ever had a chance. Well, we need to cast spells, so let's go play, let's play as Mage next. Um, so yeah. Of the anime games that were on sale, a lot of them don't have a super fear uh, appeal. Honestly, Clondod yeah, is about the only game that has a big enough name recognition to me that I think would work. Uh, if you're gonna do like a Dragon Ball Z game, I, I don't have it in me right now. To, to go down that path and try and play a story-based fighter game where you're gonna have to fight. Uh, I did get Blaze Blue, one of the older Ready Blaze Blue action. games. I'm probably just gonna spotlight that because uh, it's not a lot as a single person that I can really do. Uh, and frankly, I'm not a fighter player. Uh, I can't really do any RPGs or JRPGs except for Final Fantasy in my mind. I think when in the category of JRPGs, there's only enough time in the in my recording schedule for Final Fantasies. So I'll do the best, basically, is what I'm saying. And I'll leave the rest for everybody else. And RPG Maker uh, is a program that a lot of people seem to use and so you get the same very simplistic RPGs that have these 8-bit graphics and and until I've covered like Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4 that had those graphics up to I think 7 before they started to really uh, do I have a mech? No. Let me cast a spell. What to do? What five, to do? Five, five. I'm just gonna, I guess, end my turn here. I'm just saving all these spells. Let's see if we can get this seven out here. Before we even use the coin. That'd be nice. Uh, but yeah. I cannot for the for the life of me. Let me know in the comments if you know of any other uh, anime RPGs that would even come close to comparison. Let's uh, to Final Fantasy and in a lot of ways, even the Final Fantasy games are not in comparison, and the new Final Fantasy games, I think, are probably going to be pretty bad compared to some of the previous ones. And they're all way too long. Uh, I got some Mahjong Solitaire and Mahjong Battle, which is the real Mahjong. Uh, the thing, and just, I'll cover that. A lot of things with the anime too is people mistakenly, what although to understandably, to uh, I just attribute anime to to good-looking girls or guys in their underwear, and that is certainly some of it, Welcome but to the grand tournament not all of it. And when you just make a game saying, I, I want an excuse to, to show these few
few animations I have of um, of a girl in underwear, it's not going to be a good game. And inherently, I want a good game, not you're dead. just. Let's see. Not just some excuse of a game. And so you want some good gameplay there. However, I certainly will pander to that and enjoy it. For instance, in Sakura Clicker, um, if I'm going to play a generalized game as a clicker just because I want it to go on forever, personally I would put more effort into or desire to play Sakura Clicker versus um, Clicker Heroes, which I don't really doesn't have a lot of appeal to me. Someone, a random horde warrior. Who is a horde? A goblin? That would be cool. I, I was wondering what they were gonna eventually name goblins. Or die. Because I think there should be something there that just says, alright, this goblin or this goblin, uh, this goblin can be increased its attacks or summoned or something. But the fact that ETC here, Elite Torn Chieftain, uh, is the one that's giving us this card is a little odd because this is a reward card that uh, you can craft now. And I will craft as soon as I have 1600. But. Here we go. Death Rail deal 8 damage to all minions. You require my assistance. Aha! So I'm gonna start having fireballs like crazy next turn if, unless he can kill this guy I'm gonna play this and then I'll probably play this <laughs> so a flame strike would be kind of nice but I couldn't get flame strike Aha! One damage to all minions. When it, one dies, this, aha, and then this, aha, and then this. I should have attacked first. What happened there? To battle. Job's done. Uh, game? Game? <laughs> Did the servers just crash? <laughs> yep, the servers disconnected. That's new for me. I'm not even uploading right now. Um, so, in the same way the ma Mahjong games are like things of. Let's see, deal four to a random enemy. Let's deal six here. One here. Six here. Job's done. And in the turn. Should've done six here. How did this guy, how did duplicate not 
activate when that character died. I don't know, the game <laughs> cut out. Uh, so yeah, as far as anime games, I would much, I'd much prefer, if I'm gonna go down the anime route, I'd much prefer watching it. Let them take pride and completely care about what they're gonna do. Put all the dragons in your hand in the battlefield, I think not. Summon a random horde warrior or do that Deal four damage to a random minion. And attack. This is way too late game to be playing. I can do 12 damage in one turn. 12, 13 damage, really. I can play this too, I need to play this. Discover a new battle cry, that would be weird for him to choose that, but alright. Eight damage to all minions. So I want to see what the ancient one is. So I kind of wish that he had two of these to play, but I don't know. All right, so here we have nine things we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Defend. My Defend. My so, Go ahead. Where you're wrong. Kill this guy. Oh, do another team here. And at the end of this turn, that's gonna be my last character on the field. Ragnaros. Interesting. Two. So, interesting that his ability didn't activate. Shall we put a kink in your plan? I've won at this point. I didn't really deserve the win, but I will take the victory. Uh, yeah, so since the anime sale came up, it was a pretty easy decision as far as what what to do. It will replicate my card pack opening here. Actually, I'm not going to. Because I need to put a video up for a one card pack opening. I've decided to to make a specific video of uh, of just one card, two cards, three cards, four cards, five cards. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. But I will do one card pack opening just as a joke. I think that would be pretty funny. And... I've done 103, I've done 10, and yeah, a lot of people aren't looking for that. So, we'll, let's move on to the next thing we need to do. We need the hunter, let's play with that. Hunter in standard, or what? I suppose we can play with that however we want, can't we? They gave us 10 extra packs, two quests. Get five packs for playing a certain number, number of card uh, games and winning them in standard, and then a second quest of the same to win five more God, Whispers of the Old Gods cards for playing in standard. Winning in standard is actually kind of a high requirement, considering they would specifically just try to uh, get people to play on standard. Here's a card I need to get Is rid of. Uh, probably. In this deck. All these decks, in theory, need to be changed and tweaked. Uh, how much of that I'll really do, I'm not done. sure. I think I probably should, though. 
but it, it's it's a little bit of extra work with the Hearthstone deck tracker to change it, but then it's also way better to have a good deck and win over the next few months. Um, this was a adjusted beast deck for the new cards. Uh, the reason why I'd get rid of these is it, it gives you this bear, it gives you the boar with charge, and it gives you one of the beasts that increases um, Job's done. That increases the attack of all beasts by plus one. For eight mana, it's probably not terrible. Since this is a three mana and the boar is like a two mana and the other one is probably a three mana two. So it's probably the same cost as those three. You could do something like this, then this, and it's a comparable combination on Is the 10th injured? turn to release the Unleash the Hounds, which I just played. Let's see, Random Knight. Yeah, he's a 3 mana. Just gonna go ahead and kill that guy. Attack here. Job's done. Explosive trap, no surprise. <laughs> so, because of the anime Do you hear it sale call? and just sales in general, uh, the aliens' uh, 30th anniversary was out, so the alien games were on sale. I couldn't for the life of me justify buying it though. Just to be honest, you know, there, there haven't been any Aliens games that have ever caught my eye. And it would be just a, like, they're all Kazoo. Colonial Marines Kazoo. games, you're, you're fighting these aliens, none of them have been that interesting. Uh, what is it? Aliens Colonial Marines, I think is actually the name of it, is, is notoriously bad and was probably deceptive in its advertisement. I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention to it uh, even when it came out or when it was advertising before it came out. So... Job done. Uh, so I just... Do you know the secret handshake? I think if there was going to be an alien or aliens game, it's probably better to be a telltale game, more story based, more fear based than anything else. Uh, like, I couldn't imagine this one. The beasts obey me. Let's hope this works. Interesting. Well, so if anything takes damage, destroy it. So I could have killed this guy. He's trying to power up his Cthulhu deck here, which means if we get to the tenth turn, I'm probably going to be in trouble. The it's a it's pretty late game stuff. Just 
trying to figure out how Asimov works because he obviously doesn't know. So yeah, you get this guy, Leok, this guy, Misha, and this guy, Huffer. Is that what their names are usually? I think it may be. Or maybe not. I maybe wonder. they get special names. Anyways, this one gives you plus one attack. And this one gives you taunt. And this one gives all your other beasts My plus claw. one attack. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. So that's three mana, three mana, three mana. It's nine mana worth of beasts for eight mana. It's a I guess a decent card. Let me change your mind. It's, it's one of the least one of my biggest cards here. So I let the dog go. The face is a baby. Both players have spell damage plus Right now, my win victories are, well, right now it's at 50% because I've only played twice. Uh, and they're all a little off because of just how Hearthstone Deck Tracker would determine what deck I was playing as while I was still doing the best rebuild to test it out. But I, I have this feeling, and maybe it's just a crazy hope, but I have this feeling I'm going to start seeing some significant improvement just the win ratios. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like that's going to be the case. And that could be great. That would certainly help. There's no denying that I was having a pretty or a very negative attitude in the past few recording sessions, both being in pain from my back, which is, is almost completely healed now. For doom uh, Let's the hunt just begin. Just by doing other things, and that has kind of hurt me a lot. Uh, that and other things have gotten me so off schedule. I have like a month to finish Assassin's Creed, or it's gonna just get really messed up in ways I hope it doesn't. Uh, I spent yesterday wasting my time trying to learn how to use Blender, trying to figure out if I can make an intro or outro myself, and I learned a little bit, but Blender is, is an incredibly complicated program in my opinion. Uh, it doesn't feel very well laid out, I would say. It feels like there's buttons and options all over the place where and just, I had already kind of, well, how do, how do I put this? I had read a little bit of a book on how to use Adobe After Effects. So I was on, I understand what I 3D effects programs are trying to do. I understand the concept of a keyframe where you set something as how you want it, and then you'll go to like 200 frames or a thousand frames in the future uh, and then set it as you want it there and then you'd have two keyframes in between it what? and then the program will do the formulas to figure out how are we going to set uh, it from where it was before to what it is there and then it will either oh, spin something or give it some, give an effect of something mm -hmm. it, after Effects is probably way better, and uh, the, I probably almost certainly the industry standard, but it is even more complicated than Blender, from, from what I recall. I could be totally wrong about that. Uh, but Blender is complicated enough, so I wasted a day doing that, and it took me a day just to make the basics of a basic of a like less than a second video. So. So I'm certainly not going to have time to do that myself, but 
I wanted to understand it before I started asking somebody else to do it. And here's me coming around asking somebody else to do it. If anybody knows how to use Blender and, and do really crazy effects, uh, and willing to work for free, uh, with the tributation is about all I can do. Uh, then, then let me know in the comments. But, but I'm looking for professional level stuff too. I'm gonna be picky, even though I really have no right to be picky. I'm, I'm looking for somebody who can can make it look like. Uh, a good comparison is the intros you see at the beginning of movies. The 20th Century Fox, uh, Lionsgate, uh, Sony Pictures, Disney, Pixar, each one of those, that's the level of quality I want in an intro. Uh, don't, certainly don't start working on anything before you would actually discuss it with me if you yeah that would be true for any situation is don't start making somebody an intro and go here I made this for you and just to end up being disappointed when the person goes to I can't use that that's nowhere what I want um, uh, but I probably I definitely need a new blender guy. I need, need an artist, and if that artist knew how to use Blender and Photoshop and was good at both, that would be the ideal situation. Because you still kind of need to use Photoshop or, or GIMP. I, I don't really care if it's Photoshop, but because Blender only really helps for. Let's see, what do we want to do here? I think this will work. Job done. Uh, you, you really still need to use the Photoshop edit program to make textures for Blender. Blender is, is more kind of like making models in clay and then Photoshop is about putting the textures on top of the clay. Another I choose dead. Uh, so we're now running 75% victory rate on this game. And uh, that is very nice to see. We'll play one more unless it just ends really fast. Uh, well, even if it ended really fast, I think I'd only be able to play one more and keep it under 50 minutes. So, yeah, I wasted a lot of time on that, and and now I'm glad that I'm, I'm winning. The Whisper of the Old Gods was very much a renewal, even though I spent probably 24 hours making videos. Next, in the next recording, I'll talk about the success of those videos. It's pretty good news. Uh, so it's all very random news still, very much. What videos get more views by three times seems to be just almost down the randomness or things I can't identify. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to budget each month. Uh, sadly, technically I have no income to actually budget, but <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out how to budget. Pretty much there's a week sale. Yeah, there's a there's a weekend sale every week uh, for Steam, and then there's a there's flash sales that come up, and then there are uh, there are what else? There's usually like a monthly sale of something too. So I think the flash sales can go in the week sales, the weekend sales, and then you when you all all is said and done, if you really think of 
about it, I probably needed to find a monthly budget by five. Uh, to just divide it by five. Like, that one special sale in four weeklies. So, if I was going to plan on spending a hundred dollars a month, which isn't a very big budget for video games, when you consider eventually this whole series is this whole channel's got to go to brand new games, and brand new games are going to be $60, and maybe even 70 by the time I get around to moving everything to brand new games only. Uh, so, $60 for one game is one game a month, and then you have $40 for all the other games that are small independent things for less than $60. But, if you take that $100 budget, monthly budget, divide it by five you have twenty dollars a week which for the small independent things is not I think terribly off oops well actually I think I had to do it that way didn't I hmm. <laughs> decide whether he wants to attack here or not. Uh, but there's also on that budget something where I need to save up for the summer sale and so every month I should probably have some extra saved up there too because the summer sale is where the big savings are going to be. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to take advantage of that as I go forward, as I get the old games that are still worth covering already in my collection as the collection grows bigger. Uh, there's a lot of questions there, but that'll probably be in four or five years that we reach to the point where a summer sale just offers nothing to you at all for the moment I still need to save up for that so I'm trying to think of budgeting um, uh, in the end of the day the real thing the real issue is you can you can budget all you want but the the truth is right now the amount of income from the channel is not self-sufficient by far and, um, and if we want to make it self-sufficient, we need to, uh, I need to get more Job money. Done. But that may be coming. It's slowly growing. We did get some decent ad revenue with this new expansion. I think about three, three dollars in the last seven days, which is a big step up from anything. It's probably the most I've ever gotten in seven days. It yeah, it is. Um, so, gonna lose. I don't have Good. enough mana. So, oh well, I'm still doing pretty good with my win to lose loss ratio, and I think it's gonna show more, more accuracy. Uh, as I continue playing games. So yes, income and views are going up, that's good news. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go back down to 76 cents like it was uh, for a few weeks there. But it probably will go back down a little bit. Ideally, it wouldn't, of course. Or just a little bit. Anywho, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.